Susan. Susan! Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, 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 look. Why don't, why don't you take the day off? No, I'm 100%, I'm, I'm totally serious. Because we're talking about DC today. Yeah, nobody's gonna show up to this stream today. Nobody's coming in to watch this stuff. We're gonna talk all about DC hopes and dreams, so. Yeah, no. No, for, seriously, no, take the day off. I mean it. I've been really hard on you lately. I feel really bad about it. And quite frankly, I'm sick of you farting in the lobby, so just get on at it. Oh, <laughs> whoa, what's up? What's up, Nerd Avengers? What's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Exciting, exciting stream today. A lot of news out there to talk about, but you know what we decided to do today is talk about DC. Because it's so damn exciting. I can't wait to talk about it. Did you know they're doing, did you guys know how many spinoffs they're doing for the Battens and Batman? Don't worry, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about all of it. Meet me in the research wing. I'll see you in a second. Susan, get out of here. I'm not kidding. Go home. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Excited to be here with you talking about DC. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good one. Pretty pretty pumped about it. Should be really really fun. In all seriousness, there have actually been many many different updates for DC properties, the DC EU, um, Warner Brothers stuff in general. We haven't covered uh, in quite some time, and so it being a slower news day, I was like, well, why not? Let's get into all of that, man. Let's look at some of the stuff that's been coming out and let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Quite frankly, a lot of different updates. And there was a time, ladies and gentlemen, there was a time when we did way more DC content over here. And I'm not going to lie to you. That is partially because they copy struck this, uh, this channel and, and took it away from us for an entire week. Regardless, that's what we're going to do today. I know we've got DC fans uh, in the Nerd Venger, so I know many of you guys are probably pretty excited to get into it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, I do want to mention a couple of different things. Nerd Vengers, I am holding here two $200 gift cards to, to GameStop. You know, one of the greatest American companies ever created, GameStop. Yeah, I, I like GameStop. So uh, one of these actually is spoken for. It belongs to Sheev. I don't know how or why he is as lucky as he is. But he won another uh, $200 gift card. And I realized that I don't do a good job explaining that we give away a $200 gift card every single month. Every single month we, we, we give one away. Now, originally, it was because it was just on Discord. And uh, you'd have to link your NerdVenger account to Discord to get the uh, the drawing done. We're going to do it a different way. So I'm working on a different way and we'll probably do a drawing on Friday and I'll do like a subscriber drawing and then we'll double check to make sure that person is a member. You are only eligible if you are a member. Okay. So if you are a NerdVenger member, we are going to do that uh, this Friday. We'll be giving away another $200 gift card. Also wanted to say we're going to do some fun drops this week. We might do some drops today. And moving towards Book of Boba Fett, too, we have some really fun Star Wars pops that we're going to put up on the NerdCoin store. So feel free to get that NerdCoin. Get excited because there's going to be a lot of fun stuff. I love that stuff, man. I was in GameStop yesterday, like, buying all this stuff, looking at all the pops, you know, ordering stuff. And I was like, man, this is fun. Like, I get to be a big kid for my jarb. And a lot of that has to do with you guys. So appreciate it. We want to just give back a little bit. So... If you're confused about NerdCoin or stuff, check that out uh, via the Discord or get in touch with another NerdVenger. Or go to denofnerdslive.com. There's an explainer video there, and there's the store, etc., etc. We're going to need more likes on the video, guys. Come on. I know. We're talking DC. I know. Many of you are like, what the actual F? Uh, but nonetheless, we got to do it. Smizash the like button. Don't do it for me. Do it for Zack Snyder. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's get into this. A lot of news, a lot of things going on. Uh, in my honest opinion, the more I thought about uh, this stream, the more I thought about DC in general, and with, of course, DC fandom coming right around the corner, 
The question is, is this thing still Snyder fans versus Warner Brothers? Is that really still what it is? Is that not only the narrative, but the reality that many DC fans feel? There have been many little instances over the past couple of months that indicate uh, the distaste that Warner Brothers has for Zack Snyder stuff, including the Steelbooks, right? There was this thing in the Steelbooks where they had a QR code to go watch a video via YouTube. I believe it was just a trailer or something like that, right? Uh, and I got to put my thing down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so it was just like a trailer, but apparently they unlisted that, so you couldn't even access it. And it looks like they're just really trying to distance themselves uh, from... Zack Snyder, the Snyderverse, and the Snyder fans. You know, we have a poll going up currently, and I asked you guys, do you think, do you think that they will ever restore the Snyderverse, right? And 68% of you say no. And to be honest with you, my whole experience of covering DC over the last year, uh, following, you know, the Ben Affleck Batman drama, will he come back, will he not come back, what's going on with the Snyderverse, are they going to do the air cut and all of that stuff, it's left me in a kind of a weird spot, you know what I mean? I, I interacted with some people, I covered some stories that I think have now been really discredited, including some of the people that we were talking to, right? I'm not going to name names, but it's just really wild. The, the sort of roller coaster ride that we've been on, what is real, what is not real, when it comes to that sort of stuff, right? I think the last hope for Snyder fans is this gentleman right here, this guy right here, this guy, David Zasloff, okay? The guy... That it will now be the CEO. He was the CEO of Discovery. Now he will be the CEO of the merged company or the new company that merges Discovery and Warner Media. Okay. Um, about a week ago, maybe a little bit uh, earlier than that, he talked about how they want to have a shock and awe global strategy for HBO Max, or rather the service, I think HBO Max, that will now be run by this company, right? And they're talking about trying to reach 200 million subscribers uh, from, or to basically from two or three years from now. Now, that would be absolutely wild because I think where they're currently at is like around 50. They're not really doing well. <clears throat> They've just lowered their prices in certain marketplaces. HBO Max, you know, look, I like the service. I've been watching a lot of fun stuff on there. I, I enjoy it a lot. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably talk about this later, too. But I did finish um, Superman and Lois, which I thought was a great show. You know what I mean? And I love DC and I love DC characters, right? I frankly don't know how. Like, I guess, I guess what I'm confused about is if this guy's the new sheriff in town. And the new strat is to try to get 200 million subs. I just don't understand how, how you plan to do that if your strategy is really and truly just to completely ignore the Snyderverse and, more importantly, the Snyder fans. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be that guy, but the campaign, as far as I understand it, the campaign to um, boycott DC fandom has more engagement on social media than DC fandom. Do you know what I'm saying? And that is not necessarily an organic measure of this, like how many people are actually more engaged with the other. But social media itself is an indicator. And it's like, you know, they, they, they really have a problem that could be a solution. It's so frustrating to watch as a fan this sort of situation go. Last year, I think DC Fandom, the event itself, which was just like a marathon stream, right? It reached like 20 million people. I felt like it was a massive success for Warner Brothers. I was so excited that that had transpired, you know, all the different trailers, all the different weird announcements, even the game stuff was super cool, man. It seemed like they were really winning. And in a time when Marvel had pulled stuff back, when Marvel was not making announcements, when Marvel wasn't doing this, that, second, and the third, DC stepped forward and they had something really interesting and engaging. 
the multiverse was teased, right? This idea of bringing everything together, which really is, I think, more of a flash thing that was supposed to, to, to allow these other things to, to exist side by side, okay? Meaning Matt Reeves the Batman, which is apparently getting a million spinoffs, and we will talk about that. We will talk about that. That could exist within the multiverse and be connected and allowed to happen and have it some kind of connective tissue, right? The Zack Snyder stuff. It exists in a multiverse. And in fact, we know Ben Affleck is going to be in The Flash, which we're going to talk about in a second because there's some sort of unfortunate news there, I think. Um, that's sort of the, the thought process, right? That's what we thought last year. We were like, oh, man, going into this, man, they're going to have the multiverse. They're going to have all this other stuff figured out, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, I'm less confident about that now. I'm less sure about that now. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Like, they should have more announcements out there. They should have more indication that this is a thing. And DC fandom number two should be another celebration of moving that thing forward and allowing it all to exist forever. And yet it still feels like there's a black sheep in the family. It still feels like they're trying to kind of cut around that thing. They don't want to have that thing be the thing. You know what I mean? It's, I, I, I don't know. It's, I'm hopeful that maybe we'll get some announcements at DC Fandom that, for instance, talk about the air cut. There's a lot of uh, sort of, you know, people teasing out that the air cut could be a thing. There was something on my timeline. Let me see if I can find it here. Something about the air cut. Yeah, he posted this on his Instagram story. And some people think that it, it's indication that it's actually going to happen, et cetera, et cetera, right? I don't know, bro. For me, I feel like we've been being hopeful and wishful about the air cut for a long, long time. I'd love for it to happen. There's some indication that it'll happen. David Ayer's been really cool about it, been really positive about it happening. That would go a long way, I think, because there's a connection there between uh, David Ayer and Snyder and the old Warner Brothers and just the studio interference that they did. It would be a good look for the studio to give this man the opportunity to really have his thing out there you know what i mean but if they don't announce that at fandom like and there's no real love given to snyder or the snyder fans i fear for what the fallout could be okay so that's all that's basically part one part one of today's stream that's like sort of my first blurb here now let's let's talk about this i'm very positive on the flash by the way i'm very positive on the flash movie I'm excited for it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go into some of the rumors and things like that. But this guy Casey Walsh said Affleck only filmed on Flash for like a week. Are people really still pushing he is more than an extended cameo? So I don't. I, I would say I wouldn't categorize it as him being an extended cameo. Do you know what I mean? I don't think so. I, what I would tell you is I think he plays a very important role but probably doesn't have a ton of screen time. It's also possible that a lot of action he shots, if he does do a lot of action in the film, was shot with a stunt double, because we already saw before Ben went to go shoot his scenes for The Flash, that, which, by the way, apparently The Flash is wrapped. You know what I mean? They might do some reshoots, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but it's wrapped, you know, principal photography. So we know that we saw some shots of him, like, on uh, the bat cycle or whatever some kind of crazy batmobile motorcycle thing and it really looked like it was affleck's cow and, and affleck as uh batman but it's also possible that yeah he's just gonna play a role in sort of the beginning and maybe the end of it and you know there's this long-standing thing that basically they have two options with ben affleck in the flash movie this could be a very well thought out goodbye this could be a really interesting way to say, hey, we're closing the door on this and we're opening the door on this because as has been reported a lot, the idea is likely to bring Michael Keaton as the actual big Bruce Wayne 
for the DCEU moving forward. Or rather, I think the better way to say it would be the particular universe of the multiverse that they will focus their films and their franchises in. Right? Doesn't that kind of seem like that's that's kind of what they're trying to say? So if I were a sort of bad black fan, what I'm rooting for is that they split them. You know what I mean? That they split them. That they have Affleck go his way. Maybe go do some stuff over on HBO Max. I'd love to see the... the um, Dead... No, not Dead... Deathstroke. Why am I, yeah, Deathstroke. The Deathstroke movie with, with him and Manganiello, right? I think that would be sick. Uh, but I don't... I, I no longer feel that's a strong possibility. You know what I mean? But that would be the hope, I think, for Snyder fans is like... Let's let's have this split, and you'll have Affleck go over here, and you'll have Keaton and Batman and, and Flash over here. It really does not seem. It really does not seem like that's actually going to be the case. It it does kind of seem like they're going to use this film to kind of erase him, you know, and, and move in a different direction. You know, the Flashpoint idea, soft reboot, uh, for. The sort of the DCEU, the main DC thing, you know what I mean? It's it's pretty interesting, right? Okay, so one other thing I definitely want to talk about is the Batman movie. Now, there's been a lot of different reports about the Batman movie. And look, the Supergirl stuff seems cool. They're doing apparently, apparently, I don't know if it's true, but they're doing a Supergirl show using the Supergirl from The Flash. I like the design. I think it's pretty cool. But... There's been some news about the Batman. A lot of different things said here and there. You guys know my feelings on this. Not the biggest fan of Matt Reeves, the Batman. Pretty skeptical of uh, Battenson. Okay? That's just me. You don't have to feel that way. I'm just telling you how I feel, right? Well, we know that they're going to do the Gotham... PD sort of uh, version on HBO Max, a spinoff show based on that, right? And according to Daniel Rickman, who I think is pretty good, he's really solid. He's actually, I'm pretty sure he's Kevin Feige. The Batman already has a sequel in development. It'll tease Mr. Freeze as the villain in the first movie, and it'll set up kind of a Mr. Freeze thing. And Paul Dano's Riddler has a project in the works as well, maybe via an HBO Max series. And I look, I'm curious. I want to see what you guys think about this. To me, I'm like pretty amazed. Again, it's the juxtaposition, right? It's the juxtaposition of the fact that you've got a fan base rabid for content. And yet you're literally going to spend money and green light stuff before the movie comes out, mind you, uh, to create all this content in a universe of characters that you don't know actually have an audience. You know, uh, the Batman movie is apparently incredibly dark. You know what I mean? It apparently is really going to focus on mental health. You know, he's deranged. Batman's insane. All that kind of stuff, right? Um you know, I get it, and that's crazy. I've seen that take before, and yeah, like, Batman's crazy. For sure. Batman's an insane person. You know what I mean? But to focus on that, downplay the heroics, and make it really postmodern is not necessarily the flavor that I'm into. I'm really curious to see how that movie's going to perform and how it's going to do. But to me, it does seem a little bit off. You know what I mean? A little bit off. Um, but that's kind of the news on the Batman as far as, you know... We can tell. I'll go over a couple other things here in this DC Leaks. Uh, look at this. Another thing right here. Friggin' Deadline says there's a Penguin spinoff that works at HBO Max. Like, come on, man. A Penguin spinoff as well? This is going to spin everything out of the mother flipping Matt Reeves Batman bullcrappery? That's what we got going on? I don't know, brother. I just don't know about that. It's, yeah, it just seems interesting. A uh, couple other things that we'll talk about. And yeah, I'm going to try to... <laughs> nice. Uh, we'll get into Super Chats in a little bit here, guys. I'm going to go over just a couple of the other updates in the next 10 minutes. And then I'm going to try to get in on that VV drop. First appearance of uh, Vision and Wanda on VV dropping today. 
So I'm excited to check that out. Uh, and then we'll get into Q&A and hang out a little bit. Uh, I've got a video coming out about Spider-Man and some Venom stuff. Uh, updates about the trailer and some stuff people are saying about uh, Venom. I'm super excited because we get to watch Venom at 4 p.m. on Thursday. I'm actually quite hyped about that. I think that's going to be awesome. So I'm going to be checking that out. What the hell is going on here? Uh, Thursday at 4. I'll do a little reaction to it. If you are a Movie Bros subscriber, highly recommend you guys come to the channel Wednesday night. Theory Boy and myself are going to do a watch party of Venom 1. So if you're super hyped up for Venom, you know, I know there's a lot of Venom haters out there. I've seen them. I've seen you on Twitter. But if you like Venom, if you're hyped up about Venom, man, uh, come on by tomorrow night uh, at Movie Bros. We'll watch probably around 8. I'll double check with Theory, but yeah, probably around 8. We'll watch Venom 1. We'll geek out about it, get all hyped up about it, and then hopefully he and I will be able to talk about Venom 2 uh, sometime during the weekend as well. But I'll do a reaction to it right when I get home. We'll do a stream talking about it. Spoilers on Friday. Um, yeah, should be really, really, really exciting, man. A lot of hype around Venom 2. As I said, and I'm putting my foot into the ground, digging my heels into the mountain. I'm I'm confirming to the clouds. Listen and hear me now, nerd adventures. This movie will make more money than Shang Chi and Black Widow. I'm telling you right now. I'm calling it right now. That's what it is. According to uh, Daniel Richtman and Big Screen Leaks, who, by the way, I think is really good, uh, there's a Joker sequel happening. That's kind of interesting with Joaquin Phoenix. That's uh, something that you know people would really be into. Like I said, that movie will never make more than five hundred million dollars, so the sequel will probably not make any money either. Kind of, kind of interesting that they would decide to do that. Look, yeah, there's actual Martin Scorsese is attached to the producer for Joker too. I wonder if he'll bail out late in the game like he did on the first one. Uh, okay, so this is something Grace said a while ago. Oh, we got a little. Got a little, I like this beat. As something Grace said a while ago, Warner Brothers feels so good about The Flash. They're trying to put together a deal for a sequel. That would be amazing, especially if it's as cool as we think it's going to be. Uh, people are saying it's so dark, it makes them leery. I have heard that there's issues with it being dark, but uh, BSL says they're going to green light. I mean, they are apparently green lighting number two. It's pretty wild. This was interesting. This kind of popped up. Andy Muschietti posted this on his social meds. Uh, and it's uh, some people thought it was Red Death. It's probably just a Keaton suit, in my opinion, that Barry's going to have to use when he goes to this other reality. This is kind of interesting. They were saying that apparently they wanted to get uh, Bale in a cameo. That was something like an X-Men uh, first class Wolverine cameo, but he has no idea if they actually pulled it off. That would be tremendous. That would be incredible. If they actually got Christian Bale for The Flash, that would be fun. Uh, looks like it. It wrapped. Here's all the sequels and spinoff things of that horrible The Batman movie that nobody really likes. Uh, Peacemaker, whatever. Uh, friggin' Black Canary, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Supergirl. I actually think that Supergirl is going to be cool. I'm kind of digging this chick. I think she's going to be cool. And then a big old rumor that the Justice League themselves will show up in the Flash movie, including over here. Don't, 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 for, uh, on the left side of the screen. It's really important. Green Lantern's shoulder. Very iconic character, Green Lantern's shoulder. And we're excited to see that character come into the mix. So, that's all she wrote for updates. I'm sure you guys have some questions about DC stuff. I can answer them as best I can. We'll get into the Super Chats in just a minute here. I do want to say that this stream is brought to you by the Nerd Avengers, the greatest group of people on the planet, the future of fandom taking over the internet. The people with the badge next to their name. They have access to all these dope emojis like the bro emoji. Become a nerd venger today. It, it, it literally will probably be one of the best things you've ever done for yourself. Um, it, it's apparently, and I don't know that this is, uh, you know, scientifically proven, but uh, it's better for your cholesterol. Um, it, it, it helps it helps your eyesight, I've heard. Uh, some people report they're able to leap over buildings in a single bound. Uh, it's pretty incredible stuff. All we know is that it gives you access to the behind-the-scenes streams. It gets you the 20% off the merch. gets you access to certain places in the tower, uh, including places where we're going to start teasing out interesting things coming down the line. 
So become a Nerdvenger today. Just do it. Get your grandma to do it. Get your girlfriend to do it. Get your girlfriend's grandma to do it. I like grandmas. As people, mostly. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, grandmas are pretty solid people, mostly. You know? Yeah. I'm going to end this poll, too, because it's making me cry. So we're going to end that. Oh! Only got a couple of minutes for the VV drop. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, yes, and Surfshark. You know, honestly, I hope I have the code, though. I'm, I'm horrible at this. I've got to get the Surfshark code on. You can definitely use code NERDS at checkout to get 83% off. But apparently, if you don't actually use the affiliate link, the affiliate link, uh, we may not, you may not uh, be helping us out much at all, actually, which is, you know, it's kind of a bummer, huh? But, uh, yeah, Surfshark's great, to be honest with you. I love the product. All right. Let's see here. See if I can get this set up here. Okay, we got three minutes on the drop, on the drop, on the drop. Three minutes on the drop, on the drop, on the drop. We'll also be doing a Prime member stream today so we'll be doing that uh hanging out at noon talking about some businessy stuff that kind of stuff um yeah it's gonna be cool i'm getting new world today is anybody getting new world put a one into the chat you don't need glasses anymore thanks to the nerd vengers my man my man when does uh how am i doing today i'm doing good how does uh when does black adam come out i'm not sure i'm not sure i i think that'll be really cool though i'm pumped for um Nice, yeah. Put a one into the chat if y'all play in New World. I know, the servers are apparently crazy already. The fuck is New World? It's an MMO. Uh, MMO. Massive multiplayer online game. I was watching Dr. Lupo play earlier today. And uh, looks really, really fun. I know Maria has the server. I think we're doing it. Uh, Valhalla is going to be our server. But apparently it is a packed server, bro. But that's okay. Hopefully, maybe the queues will be a little bit less crazy later in the day. So, Proxy says, I missed everything. And what did it cost you? And what did it cost? Josh, have you ever been right about box office predictions? <sighs> yes. Actually, I was. I said that... <clears throat> Uh, Shang-Chi would make less than Black Widow. And it looks like not only will it make less when you include the um, Disney Plus money, like for sure, like Shang-Chi's not going to get close to that. You know what I mean? Um, when you include the Disney Plus numbers, it's it's through the roof. But also, I think Shang-Chi will actually miss Black Widow worldwide box office in general. It's going to be close. It's going to be close, depending on how much the legs will be uh, later on. But it's going to be close. And yeah, that's kind of my feeling is uh, it won't do it. So have I ever been right? Eh, a couple. Eh, a few times. Eh, you know. Eh. I think I also said that the Rise of Skywalker would make less than The Last Jedi. And that ended up being true as well. Oh, snap. Here we go. Wait, what? Why is my... Why is this thing... Okay, we got 30 seconds, boys and girls. Ooh, I love these variant copies, too. They look great. 26, 25. Shang-Chi already beat Black Widow? No, it didn't. It beat it in the domestic box office. It's worldwide box office is less. Come on, man. All right, we got 15 seconds, guys. Can't. Will I get one of these comics? Will I do it? Will it be done? Can it happen for me? And boom. Let's see here. Buying. Tr trying to buying. Oh, boom. Buy now. Yo, that was nice. Popped right up. I think I got one, boys. I think I got one. By the way, we have a we have like several of these NFT comics that we are going to put on the NerdCoin store later today. As well, and shout out to Ryan for always helping us out, grabbing up as many as he can. Uh, what the hell? This processing is a little frustrating. Did I get one or not? Hello, hello, Vivi. Did I get one? Ooh, 
nice. Got it. Okay, let me try to get another one. And I think they're sold out. Let's see. Sold out. Okay, but I have one pending delivery. Did you guys get did you guys get yours? Did you get get to get one? Did you get 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 Oh Ryan says he only got one. That's alright, bro. You keep that sheet. Mazwa says I only got one. Got one. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, look, and maybe we'll talk about this uh on the prime stream today. I've been loving doing a lot of uh the Nerdcoin drops via um like funkos and gamestop stuff for sure like i love that doing that stuff but i'm thinking about transferring a lot of our giveaways maybe to vv and our our sort of the store for vv only because you don't gotta worry about shipping at all you know what i mean the problem is on the flip side super hard to get them and they're all mooning in price you know what i mean it's crazy it's crazy anyway Anyway, guys, we're going to shift into Q&A now. If you got something really angry you want to say, you want to support the channel, but also tell me I'm dumb at the same time, uh, tell me that they'll never bring back Zack Snyder and make me cry, uh, feel free to drop a super chat into the chat. Whoever, every super chat that comes in within reason, it supports the channel. But if you don't have any loot, you don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? Just put a chat into the chat chat and we'll get into plenty of chat chat chats as well. As well. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, we had a bunch of people rejoin as Nerd Avengers. Appreciate you. Sorry, Masta, RSG Jinx, and Michael Chapman. Thank you guys for recommitting to being a Nerd Avenger. Appreciate you. All right, let's get into these super chats. <clears throat> okay. First in, Billy Russo says with a two dollar holla. Finally, DC News hashtag Boss Zach. Yeah, not. I mean, there's a ton of DC news that I just haven't been following. You know what I mean? And there's probably just being real. There's even more stuff going on that like I am just missing. Right? Stuff that's slipping through the cracks. Uh, a comment made over here that's really significant for a reason I'm not sure about. I just for real, for real have been kind of checked out. You know what I mean? I've been kind of checked out when it comes to DC. But we'll see, man. We'll see. It, it, I, it's not outside of the realm for me to get hyped up and, and get really excited about DC again. I do love a lot of what I'm hearing about for The Flash, so I'm pumped for that. Uh, thank you very much for the support. Mike Haas says, for the $5 holla, Ben Batman will be revealed as Thomas Wayne. And the Snyder Cut was always the Flashpoint. And the Flash film is returning us back to DC Prime? That'd be wild. That's way wilder than anything I think they're actually going to do. Uh, but that would be really, really wild. I, I, don't think that's, I don't think that's on the menu, brother. But I do think they're going to sort of merge those timelines or create a, a consistent timeline with... Um, with uh, Michael Keaton. Wouldn't it be wild, and we don't know for sure, but wouldn't it be wild if Barry just decided to stay in the timeline with Keaton? You know what I mean? And he goes back and he has like a conversation with Ben, but then he ends up going back to that timeline? That would be kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait and see on it, but nah, fam. They ain't going to do anything that crazy. Mike, how many pots have you smoked today? You know what I mean? Patrick Ray with a $5 holla says, I got the job, but I just wanted to say thanks to you, Josh. And the Den of Nerds for always keeping it positive. 420 Nerd Vengeance for life. Take my money. Indeed, sir. Not a problem at all, man. You guys keep it real chill over here, so I keep it chill as well. And I've been having a blast, man. I've been having a blast making this content, getting excited. We've got What If later tonight. We're going to do a watch party for What If. Like, we've been doing watch parties for What If. For me, at this point, and we'll talk more about this at the watch party, it's like, come on. you got two episodes left. You better bring it, man. You better bring it. I kind of told everybody that What If was going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread and, and better than Infinity War and Endgame combined. Um, and so far, it has definitely not been. So I'm hoping that some crazy shit goes down. But yeah, dude, I'm, congratulations on the job, brother. Excited for you. That's always good stuff. And uh, appreciate the love. Big Stevie says, had a meeting run long, but I think we'll have more of an idea of where DC is at at fandom. I think you're 100% right, brother. For me, it's like... 
Looking ahead to fandom, looking back to last year's fandom, it is an interesting juxtaposition, and I fear for what will happen, frankly, uh, at DC Fandom. I don't think we're going to stream it. Like, I'm, prob- I'm going to watch it, you know what I mean? And maybe I'll be in the Discord just hanging out or whatever. I'll watch it, but not really going to be streaming it. You know what I mean? But we'll do a stream maybe after all is said and done, just kind of recapping everything, which I think would be really fun. Um, And they have the opportunity there to lay out what the future looks like exactly, or at least give us a little bit more clarity. And uh, hey, they could, everything I just talked about as a concern could be addressed and could be handled really well at DC Fandom. We don't know. But it just exists this possibility that it's going to be a nightmare. So I, I don't know, man. I'm uh, I'm sort of on the fence, but yeah, 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 yeah. Greg Kish with a very generous ten dollar says missed a lot of live streams, but hope to be here more now that summer is over. Peace to you and all the nerd vengers. Smash like and take my money. Thank you so much, Greg. Yeah, hey, summer. We totally understand it, man. Summer uh, numbers usually go down in the summer. YouTube regardless a lot more people just doing active things hanging out planning vacations chilling 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 maybe chilling with the kids all sorts of fun stuff so all good my friend um and i think when we get towards uh winter and we get towards these crazy shows like hawkeye and book of boba fett uh there'll be a lot more dancing in the streets as it were chris listenfeld says breaking news josh lucas spinoff announced for hbo max hashtag hyped Yeah, but is it me or Supreme Josh? You know, I saw all the comments on the video yesterday. I saw all the engagement on the live stream. Everybody on Twitter. Yeah, everybody prefers that guy. I don't think so. Nah, fam. I'm on the lookout for that guy. I'm going to hunt him down. You know? Sneaky dude. Uh, But thank you so much for the support, man. Appreciate it. Matei Matthew Perez says, I'm more hyped about Reeves verse than Snyder verse. Moving right along, Nate. Elt, uh, Elston says, bro could crush it if they greenlit Darkest Night, Green Lantern, multi-movie run. Yeah, you're saying Warner Brothers could crush it. Yeah, man, 100%. They, ha- they are sitting on a gold mine of incredible material. And much like Marvel, there have been incredible stories written at DC Comics over the past 60, 70 years. Uh, and it's just a shame. It's a shame that we've arrived at this place. I mean, Marvel definitely still has issues. There's things that are going on with Marvel. But you just can't deny, dude. They they deliver the goods. And they deliver an incredibly consistent product. It's You know what to expect, and yet you're excited for the possibilities. It's a beautiful mix. Uh, and it would be great to see DC just get a modicum. Just a small amount. Just a smidgen. Of that kind of same love. You know what I mean? We'll see. It's a, I'm still hopeful. So we'll see. Pretty Nikki with a $5 holler says, just send him my weekly super pumped for what if and Venom this week. Also, take my money. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm hopeful for what if. I think it's going to bring it. I think the Ultron thing could be really, really interesting. Hopefully. And ties into some absolutely wild, wild stuff. So that's kind of the hope for me. Um, And as far as Venom, I am so excited for Venom. Like legitimately excited. I love that first movie. I'm excited to do the watch party tomorrow. You know, I went out yesterday. I was looking for Venom merch, man. I couldn't really find a lot. It was unfortunate. You know, like even um, uh, there was only one Venom shirt. We went to like three different stores. One Venom shirt. And it wasn't even one that I really liked. So I was like, all right, whatever, you know. But um, I'd love to get some Venom swag, get out there and get excited about Venom. Look, I don't know. There's a large amount of people out there that are poo-pooing on this movie. They're saying... Well, the review embargo list two days before. It's not going to be a good movie. Bruh. I'm in it to just watch some fun action, see Venom go crazy, eat some heads, carnage, slice and dice, uh, and then let's call it a day. 
I think it's I think I'm I think I'm good. You know what I mean? And then maybe a little Spider Man tease, you know, that'd be kinda of fun. Chris nineteen with a very generous ten dollar hella says, I really want to see the ending of the Bane novel in live action directed by Quentin Tarantino. Thoughts. Everyone would be dead, and that's kind of his thing. <coughs> Yeah, I think that would be cool. You know, we talked to, I think you're referring to the Nerd Theory stream last night where we were talking about non-canon Star Wars and the fact that they're going to do a lot more non-canon Star Wars. I think tomorrow there's going to be a report about that and we'll cover it probably in a video because I think it'll drop later in the day. But I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the prospect, but I think it might make a little bit more sense when that story comes out tomorrow because I don't think they're going to do necessarily live action non-canon stuff okay so i don't think that's necessarily on the table and i think if you really examine what the that vp said um james wah yesterday you know i think what he's saying is there was a distinct vision and creative reason or catalyst to be able to accept non-canon star wars in their plans because it's fucking anime and dope anime writers and production and stuff. And so it's just like, yeah, let that let them go wild. I think you would need some kind of creative element like that. And who knows? Tarantino could produce. And, you know, there was that anime studio that did part of a part of Kill Bill. And like if you did something with them and had like something like that going on, that would be crazy. But I think you need a reason uh, for Lucasfilm to, to do that. But who knows for sure? Uh, Armani Martinez with a two dollar holiday says, "So Pedro is HBO no Mando three? Oh no, Mando three's coming. Mando three's coming. In fact, I believe Pedro has already shot stuff for Book of Boba. Yeah, that's right. I think Pedro Pascal as uh, Din Djarin will be in Book of Boba Fett, and then next year, yeah, because they're going to shoot uh, in the early part of the next year. They're going to be shooting." Mando 3. Mando 3 will go right from Book of Boba Fett like into Mando 3 and Din Djarin will be a big part of that. But yeah, I mean him signing to do that Last of Us thing, it definitely threw a threw a wrench into everything. I still think there's some tension between him and the studio, but at the same time, uh I'm sure they're working it out to the best of, you know, their their ability, you know what I mean? Um yeah yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Lord Vito, I agree with you, brother. Zack Snyder, incredible, incredible thing here. I agree with that 100%. What else is going on? What else, y'all? What else, y'all saying? What else, y'all got on your mind? I'll hang out here. <clears throat> Anyone hear the rumors <clears throat> about The Witcher Season 2? Did Cavill really get fired? I haven't heard anything about that. I have not heard anything about that i've heard rumors though that henry cavill will show up in the flash but i mean no like no like real indication of that but that would be awesome it, especially if he was playing like an older version of cal and he is uh that supergirl's uh father that would be really really wild Plagueis should just be canon at this point yeah i agree i agree i i don't know how interested i would be in a Plagueis. Re, uh, retelling non-canon because it's like it should just be canon you know what i mean but yeah uh i hope doc doesn't get any hate because of how effing z laner is being exposed as a hack I, yeah i really don't think he hacks bro i mean there's a lot of people claiming that i know there's a lot of conspiracies but i do not think z is a hacker at all so, I mean, I don't know what you've seen, Jason, but uh, I have not seen anything compelling about that. You know what I mean? I think he's just solid AF. I am excited for the DC HBO Max shows more than the Disney Plus shows. Then that's awesome, dude. Good on you, brother. I saw it with my own eyes. Brother, I I'm, I'm just really skeptical of that. You know what I mean? I'm really skeptical of that jason you got to show me like show me some evidence i haven't seen any evidence of that bro do i think amelia uh who do i think amelia clark is playing in, in secret invasion i think it she's playing a spy i think it's possible she's playing uh brand why am i blanking on her name uh green haired lady abigail abigail brand i think 
Um, I think it's possible she's playing her, but probably just like a spy character or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, send me the videos, man. Send me the videos on uh, on Discord. I just I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of people allege that, but um, yeah, I just really don't believe it, man. Josh, I would rather have DC go with one story connective tissue uh, going forward and green light and start early instead of waiting and having knee jerk reactions and changing direction. Yeah, faux show, man. She's Nikki Fury. I don't know, maybe. Uh, yeah, look, they've done this for a long time. You know, they make really, really knee jerk decisions. They lack a plan. They're they're reactive instead of proactive. There's, you know, it's the same old story. They don't have. Uh, they obviously don't have a Kevin Feige. Really, nobody does. I mean, he's such a unique, uh, special producer. But what they need to do is try to be able to replicate what Kevin Feige does, even if it takes a team. You know what I mean? And that is, that is, honestly, that's like just putting the right people in place, having a vision, quarterbacking that, or, or coming up with a plan as a group, and then committing to it. You know what I mean? There's just too many, there's too many cooks in the kitchen over there. You know, how is Star Wars going to handle what's canon or not going forward? They can't keep skirting around it. Yeah, I don't think the plan is to skirt around it at all. I think they're they're gonna like everything's canon, unless it's specifically mentioned to not be canon, right? So that would be like what they did with Visions. Um, yeah, everything's gonna be canon, so it, it's not gonna be hard to uh, to do that. Moon Knight T? Uh no, no Moon Knight T. No no Moon Knight T. I I just I think the the show's going to be sick. Uh Yeah, that's all. I think the show's going to be sick. I think the last thing that we talked about as a report from Moon Knight was that they're going to have um the Mr. Knight suit, right? With the all white suit. You know what I mean? And that all white suit from the uh the Warren Ellis run? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm into that. I'm into that. Uh, let's see here. RSG says, isn't Plagueis canon? He was mentioned in episode three, so I'd say he's canon, but his story is not. Yeah, so that book is not canon. It's considered a legend, which is a damn shame. Uh, but yeah, the character, is, the character is absolutely canon. And I would love to see them do more of it. You know, I was thinking about, like, how I would do my version of the sequels, the sequels to the sequels, and I would bring Plagueis back. That's what I would do. And uh, thanks for all the support for the last four months, man. I really appreciate it. Let us see here. Uh, Greg says, I'd like to see more of Josh Supreme, wondering where he stands on Warner Brothers. Yeah, I think in his universe... Uh, Zack Snyder was given the green light for like a million projects. So it's just everything's done by Zack Snyder in his universe. So, yeah. Uh, Zachary P says, we'll watch the replay. Have a great day. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the love. Oh, Desi says, Josh, in your opinion, who embodies the concept of a hero more? Superman or Spider-Man? I used to think Superman, but reading more Marvel, I changed my mind. <clears throat> so they're slightly different heroes. They're very similar in many ways. I think... I think, honestly, like, this is what it is. It's, like, to me, the mythos of Superman and, like, what makes Superman such a brilliant character is that he has all the power, like, of a god. Like, he's essentially, like, a walking god, right? And he has to decide what to do with that power, and he chooses humanity and he chooses to to fight for humanity and to try to be the best person he literally is like i could basically do whatever i wanted um and i'm gonna choose to do the right thing because it's the right thing right now peter has a lot of those same elements to his character but peter can't do everything peter's not a god not even close he just has great power and yeah of course that comes with great responsibility there are parts of superman's sort of story that are more like you know his power is, is so far beyond that that it just kind of takes a different scope but peter's more human 
You know what I mean? Like Peter has to deal with poverty. Peter has to deal with worrying about the ones that he loves. Peter has to do with all these things. He's super, super human and he doesn't really use his powers to like gain anything really. You know what I mean? So they have a lot of similarities. I would say Superman is probably a greater hero in the sense that striving to be like Superman is very noble understanding that he could go either way but um it's a tough one they're two of the best heroes ever created for sure you know what i mean and i think they represent different things to different people i'm a big superman guy so i would probably say that but i'm a huge spider-man guy as well um so yeah i don't know does that answer it does that answer it someone get me my fence to me my fence so that i may sit upon it rj brando says new episode 8 promo looks lit for what if let's check it out do you guys just hear my dog trying to kill each other? Uh, let's check it out. Let me see if I can find it here. What if? What if? Did they just release a new promo? I don't see anything on their Twitter. I don't see anything on the Twitter, so. Unfortunately, I'm not going to check it out. Not going to check it out. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited for it, man. It'll be fun. Armani Martinez says G Lucas sequel treatment on Disney Plus animated. Hmm. I'd be into that. I'd be into that. I think there's something similar to um to that perhaps being discussed right now. I'll look at YouTube real quick for this uh, promo. For what if? Let's see if it's there. Let's check it out. Let's see. Dun, dun. Episode 8 promo from Screen Crest. That was like three days ago. Wait, Heavy Spoilers had the promo? I don't understand. Follow me into the multiverse. Hang on, let's watch this. I don't know if this is... Because this is like on Paul's channel. I'm a little confused. Just being real. Pause that. Uh, yeah, let's check this out. Let's watch this together. Let's give Paul some more views. Follow me into the multiverse of infinite possibilities. We've all lost so much, and I'm not sure there's anything left worth fighting for. Damn. What if Ultron won? I mean, that looks pretty lit, dude. I'm hyped. Are we gonna are we gonna get super hyped up tonight for that shit? Whew! Seems fun. Thanks for pointing that out. I have no idea why Paul had to do that and not Marvel, but hey, good on you, Paul. Bob's your uncle, as they say, huh? Bob's your uncle. Alright, let's see what else is going on here. I had a where's it at where's the chat okay let's see here monarch says if you're interested venom 2 post credit scene is not what you think def a game changer for the universe but it's not what has been put out there uh yeah so i'm actually going to talk a little bit more about that in the video uh that i'm going to put out uh later because yeah there's some weird there's some weird stuff going on man you know what i mean and there's some there's some interesting possibilities Jeez. Uh, yeah, so there's some interesting possibilities of what that could all mean. I, I think it's kind of interesting. We'll talk more about it. We'll talk more about it later. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else are you guys saying? Heavy spoiler posted on his channel? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unpopular opinion, but I love the Netflix Defenders. I thought that show was cool. I thought that show was cool. Are you, Rob shouted out the den in yesterday's Geek Culture Explained video. Yeah, I heard that. Somebody hit me up on Twitter about that. That's awesome. I, I love uh, I love that guy. He does great work. We've been uh, back and forth on Twitter a little bit. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from him. We were going to try to get on a stream this week, but we'll, we'll get on a stream sometime soon for sure. But um, yeah, you know, keeping it spoiler free, but I will say we've been, we've been sort of on top of some really interesting leaks. 
with regards to uh, Doctor Strange. By the way, you're going to get your first Multiverse of Madness tr uh, trailer relatively soon, I think. That movie's six months away, guys. That movie is six months away. Can you believe that? That's, a, that's like right around the corner, baby. I'm so hyped for that. I'm so excited. Uh, have you finished Superman and Lois? What did you think? Okay, let me give you let me give you the, the deets, my friend. Let me give you the deets. So uh, we talked about the Marvel suits already. We talked about them yesterday. I mean, we could talk about them again, but until we know more, it's not really much to talk about. Um, okay, Stevie, here's what I'll say about this, okay? Here's what I'll say. Liked the show. Didn't love the show. Okay? I think the CW shows are too fucking long, bro. I feel like if that show had been a much tighter 10 episodes, 12 episodes, I mean, I don't even remember how many episodes it were. It was because we kept watching it and being like, is that the last episode or is there more? And then there just kept being more and more and more and more. It's fun. There's a lot of fun stuff on there, but bruh, it's not on the level of some of these other shows. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's not even close to Loki. You know what I mean? It doesn't even touch WandaVision, I think. Even Falcon and the Winter Soldier is probably, like, a way better show than uh, Superman and Lois. Now, having said that, I really enjoy Tyler Hoechlin's version of Superman. And as a big Superman fan, it's, like, legit probably the best Superman stuff that's out there right now, right? They're not giving us more Cavill. There's really not much more awesome Superman stuff. So it does happen to be one of the best shows out there for Supes. You know what I mean? So that's my take. That's my take. <laughs> Darren is back online. She's not dead. Yay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We were talking about that a little bit yesterday as well. And she's still doing her thing. And I'm happy that she is. So. I feel like eight episodes are enough for those shows. Yeah, it's just a little... It's just a little too much for me. Am I excited for the Green Lantern show next year? I am. I'm a big Green Lantern fan. But also, uh, I just, I, I need more. Like, at this point, like, DC cannot get me with any, like, hey, here's this thing you like from DC and we're doing it. Like, th bruh, it's, a, it's past that. It's beyond that. You got to show me something. You know what I mean? Like, Marvel can literally say, we're going to, um, like, Marvel could be like, yeah, we're thinking about doing another version of the royal family for the Inhumans, and I'll, like, geek the fuck out. You know what I mean? They could say, yeah, maybe someday we'll do, like, an Exiles thing, and I would be drooling. With DC, you, you, you gotta sell me. I mean, who is even the Superman of their universe? You know what I mean? Like, dude, we don't know anything about DC, their plans or whatever. You got fucking... Black Adam that's not fighting Shazam, right? The whole thing, all of it. It's just weird. And, and I, Anyway, we've had a very nice positive stream. We've had a very nice positive stream about this. Uh, and so before we venture too far into the negativity about Warner Brothers and DC content, let's just, let's just leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll call it a day on this stream. And uh, leave it there. So thank you guys so much for the love. I appreciate the support, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Zachary P. Yo, y'all funny, man. Y'all funny. Um, but yeah, appreciate the love. Uh, we'll be live at noon for the Prime members. If you are a Nerd Venger Prime member, I'll see you guys at noon. Uh, I saw somebody talk about Squid Game in the chat. Dude, Squid Game is legit. We, we crushed through Squid Game. Uh, over the past week or so, we're loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, everybody, much love. Thank you all for being here. Catch you in the next one. Go check out the Spider Man video that will drop later today. Ta ta. For now, as I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.
Is everybody gone? Did everybody leave? Man. I'm so excited for mother flipping Van Amtown. I think that's just going to be dope, y'all. I hope to see some of y'all on uh, New World later, too. Hit us up in the Discord. Um, and then, let me see here. What can I say in this post credit -y thing? Can I, can I give you guys any hints? Can I talk about any things? I mean... I think all I got is, uh, <clears throat> that was Susan. See you guys. <laughs>